So, you should probably know a little bit about me. <laughs> like, my story. Get it? <laughs> See what I did there? So, story. Never mind. <laughs> I have had this really lovely family. Mom, dad, me. We have this gorgeous house, almost too gorgeous to believe, and this car. Things weren't terrible. But then, turns out, haha, they were. Apparently, parents aren't the greatest managers. Long story short, we were struggling. Anyway, stress got to my dad. He died. And my mom and I just had each other left. I really loved my mom. But we had to maintain this image that people saw in us because of the house. One day, I went to school, and I came home, and I found a note written by my mom, but no her. Not ever again. Boo-hoo. No, but seriously, I'm over it now. I'm over the fact that my meager savings disappeared with her, uh, that I was two years late into college as a result, and that I still work a waitressing job. <laughs> I'm still trying to practice the stuff that Mrs. Clay, the school counselor, taught me. She's a Christian, and now I am too. Although, she's probably like a zillion times better at it than I am. That's where this comes in. She told me to start off with 1 Corinthians 13, and so I did, and I read it. And then I read the whole book, and then the next one. I mean, who would have thought that people in the Bible could be like, so immoral? I mean, isn't like the Bible the moral code? Anyway, now I'm on Proverbs for like the fourth time. I mean, it's like God all but wrote it for people like me. I once tried to make myself better, but this way might actually work. Huh. It's the mysterious messenger. P11. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. To know wisdom and instruction, to understand words of insight. Hmm. The messengers jump back to the beginning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. I'm guessing going in order is not a thing with you? Dina, Dina, guess what? What? You vlogging still? <laughs> yeah, what? I got in to go clubbing with Jenny and them. Jenny who? Jenny who my coupon book. Dina, how long have we been remotely wanting something like this? I'm not into making myself popular or whatever anymore. And since when are you? Is this this whole Christian thing and the whole Proverbs thing? Dina, it says in the Bible that God he basically forgives everything. Yeah, yeah. In like the book of Jesus. Dina, wouldn't Jesus want you to seem normal to a clubber? Wouldn't he want you to take advantage and be friends with people with piles and piles of money? Wouldn't he Sheesh, want you? Carly, okay, not everyone dreamed of being a penny pincher when they grew up. Penny pincher? Okay, I'm frugal. But it's only to seem normal. Well, rich ain't normal. I want a chance. I'm not going to be in school forever, and neither are you. I'm going to go get ready. I want chances, too. Who doesn't? Chances for what now? I'm not too sure. Verse 10. My son, if sinners entice you, don't consent. Oh, right. But it's not like I'm going to do everything that they do. It's not like I'm going to grind or strip or get drunk, right? Yeah. Yeah. 